This is Benjamin Dome from the American Hip Institute in Chicago, demonstrating gluteus medius repair for a partial thickness gluteus medius tear using the tendon compression bridge construct with 2.6 millimeter knotless fiber tack anchors. So we've placed portals. The scope is through a distal lateral accessory portal. Uh, this is an anterolateral portal and this is a posterolateral portal. And we also have an auxiliary uh, anterior portal, uh, which is uh, used uh, for auxiliary suture passage at times and also for any intraarticular work. Um, in the peri uh, peritrochanteric space, we see the uh, vastus lateralis fascia, which is a very identifiable structure. Um, here on the right side, uh, we can see the IT band and the attachment of the gluteus maximus posterior to the vastus lateralis. And then up here is the gluteus minimus and the gluteus medius. Uh, so these are the muscle fibers of the minimus and medius, and the tendon insertion is here on the greater trochanter. Um, so before we uh, complete a repair, we've probed the tendon we, uh, this is applicable in a case where we have a patient with refractory pr uh, peritrochanteric pain that has not gone away with non-operative measures. There's MRI findings of gluteus medius pathology or minimus pathology. And when we probe it, we find that the uh, tendon is hypermobile and can be displaced from the underlying bone because it's delaminated. So probing it is an important confirmation before embarking upon the repair. Next, we want to prepare a biologic environment in which there can be healing. And this begins with a, a micropuncture of the uh, greater trochanter. So we work right through the tendon here and uh, place micropuncture holes. Light taps, please. Uh -huh. Okay, good. And another one. Uh, good. And another one. Light taps. Good. And another one. And so we work our way all the way across the footprint in multiple rows, usually three rows of micropunctures, um, uh, one proximal, one distal, and one in between, uh, working from anterior to posterior. So at this point, uh, we, we can place uh, the anchors for the tendon compression bridge. Uh, we'll begin with uh, an anchor through the posterior lateral portal here. Okay, so here the anchor is passed right through the tendon. There's a positive stop on the back here where the anchor inserter meets the drill sleeve. And now we just pull straight back and we wanna pull on the sutures and make sure that they're seated in the bone and that we have good fixation. So next we're gonna come through the anterolateral portal, come through the tissue of the uh, minimus here comes the anchor uh, through the anterolateral portal, through the anterior part of the gluteus medius and or minimus tendons in this case, and we'll mallet it. And again, that should have a positive stop where the uh, handle meets the inserter. And we pull straight back, and we wanna seat the anchor again by pulling tension on all the sutures. So now comes the easy part of the procedure where we crisscross the uh, sutures in order to create our tendon compression bridge. So we'll take the repair stitch from the posterior anchor out the uh, more anterior portal and vice versa. And pull it out the more posterior portal. So now we have a crisscross. And this is the configuration that's gonna to lead to the tendon compression bridge. So next, uh, we're going to load our uh, suture anchors. We first tension all the sutures, put some tension externally on all the sutures and make sure that all the slack is out of them. Uh, now in the posterior uh, cannula, we're gonna take uh, the looped end of the shuttle, which you can see here, and we'll pass the uh, repair stitch through the looped end. So remember, this is the repair stitch from the more anterior anchor. So we're going A to B and B to A. And now we pull the uh, end of the shuttle and this will shuttle the repair stitch 
through the anchor, like so. Next, we'll do the same for the more anterior uh, anchor. So this is the repair stitch from the posterior cannula, and we take it through the shuttle from the anterior uh, anchor, so A to B and B to A. Notice I have not ten uh, fully tensioned or compressed down the first stitch as yet. I want to pass both of the stitches through their respective anchors before I tension. And now we pull on the end of the shuttle uh, for this more anterior anchor and uh, pull, um, pull this down. So now, watching the screen, we're going to pull tension on both anchors and compression of the tendon here against the bone. So there's our completed tendon compression bridge linking the two anchors A to B and B to A. Finally, we'll use the tensioner cutter to complete the tensioning and to cut the end of the suture. So the tensioner cutter can be loaded uh, with this flag. We pass the end of the repair stitch through the flag and then pull it through the tensioner cutter. Pass the tensioner cutter down to, uh, to the bone and complete our tension. We may get a last little bit of tension and then back it up just a bit so it's outside of the tendon uh, and then here we can cut. So that's the cutter. So again, we'll um, pass the tensioner cutter um, and you can see it through the cannula. We pass it all the way down, pull our last bit of tension and then we back it up a little bit so that we make sure we don't cut the mechanism. We do want to leave a little bit of a tail and there's the cut. So that is our completed tendon compression bridge linking two 2.6 millimeter knotless fiber tacks A to B and B to A to compress the tendon against the micropunctured lateral facet and anterior facet of the greater trochanter. Finally, if we desire to do a second pair, we can do a second pair of anchors, either more proximal or more distal, to complete two tension bridge constructs for secure fixation of the gluteus minimus and medius.